this is my happy place. This is where I'm my most creative. This is where, I mean, I just, I love being in a kitchen. This is Faith Family Kitchen inside the Faith Assembly of God Church in Hyannis. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Jenny Wheeler and volunteers from the Cape Cod Council of Churches serve hot, healthy meals to families and individuals in need. We serve a variety of people. So we have two seatings a night. We have the families that we serve from 5 o'clock to 545, and then we serve an adult seating from 545 to 630. The people who come to Faith Family Kitchen are kind and grateful for the good food that Jenny serves. They're also grateful their voices are being heard. One of the things that so many people wrote is that they really were interested in knowing what was coming next. They wanted something to look forward to. And I thought, that's so simple, but it, it really is a big deal. I post today's menu and then what's coming up on the next day we serve. And I do that every day. So they always have kind of a look forward to what's coming up. And I also encourage them to make suggestions. If there's something you want to see, tell me. Jenny is a professional chef who also holds an MBA from Babson. She's dedicated to serving hearty, nutritious meals, and she's built a strong partnership with the Greater Boston Food Bank. And since we've done that, we have now increased our deliveries to twice a month. So we take in about 4,500 pounds of food a month. We get boxes and I don't always know what's coming, <laughs> which is kind of fun. I get all of my fresh produce for free. Having that access to the fresh produce, to the fresh food, allows me to do a much wider variety and it keeps it fun. We nurture people's bodies. I'm here to provide you know healthy, delicious meals. However, I really, I really feel that we nurture their soul as much as we nurture their body. And in doing so, I think I get more out of it than they do. <laughs> Jenny came to Cape Cod to recover from a traumatic injury that shattered her dream to open her own commercial kitchen. My right heel fell through the fiberglass of a tub at a hotel I was staying at, pitched me backwards, slammed my head into the wall. Injured my hamstring, I dislodged my ulnar nerve and crushed the nerve underneath it. I suffered a traumatic brain injury. I had just finished building my own commercial kitchen in Lynn, and I never got to light a burner. I was very angry. <laughs> I had lost a lot. It was not lost on me that all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm in a place called Faith when I didn't have any. <laughs> 16 church groups and two rotary clubs provide a steady stream of volunteers who truly enjoy coming back to Faith Family Kitchen. I just love it. I just, the, the, I do a lot of volunteering and you know you get more as a volunteer than you give. You just, you just receive. Everyone is a giver here obviously. It's like if they weren't a giver they wouldn't be here and being around people who are givers is a good thing. You know it rubs off. You want to give more, you want to help out more and so it's, I mean that's, that's what life should be, you know, it's you just give and give. Very good, it's an experience and watching the different people come in and give them a nice warm meal on cold nights and it works out good. I think yeah. it's good for them. Just last week we noticed it's how many people live one paycheck to paycheck and it only takes one paycheck to be put in this situation. And we've come to that realization that any of us could do here. And so it's great that we're able to serve. We take it more as uh, a privilege to, to be serving these because we realize we could be on the other side any day of the week. And the volunteers say everyone is grateful. Everyone says thank you. Mostly upbeat, smiles, a lot of smiles from both sides, you know, uh, good conversations with both sides, you know, in the kitchen and out there. What keeps me coming back are the looks of these people's faces and, and the appreciation that they have. People know each other, they know us. Some of us have been coming for so long. I think everybody enjoys it a lot. Like even if it wasn't for the food, it'd be a good social time to talk and some like of that, but it is good food. I fully realize that, you know, if it wasn't here, I don't know where, where they would go. I think if somebody just came out even one time, they'd be like, oh wow, why haven't I been coming to this? You know, this would be so much help, you know, for, for my family and everything. And for Jenny, the Faith Family Kitchen has not only helped bring her back into the kitchen, it's brought back her joy. As somebody who 
lost everything in a freak accident or thought I lost everything in a freak accident. The swing is significant, but I have been able to give something that I didn't even know I still possessed the ability to give. Because at a time that I desperately was lost, they kind of found me. Like, you know. <laughs> it's a gathering of community, of commiseration, and hope every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at Faith Family Kitchen in Hyannis. For Cape Media News, I'm Sarah Colvin.